not easy. Patties have been on for two days now. so they're slower to go on them, but look at their making quick work of it. Let's go on this next side. Oh, this is one of those uh, healthy bee patties. Let's see what's going on there. They don't like it the same as mine. But they are eating it. See around the edges. Oh yeah, see they're taking it. Can you believe it, eh? The bees are eating algae. I'd say the consumption rate may be about the same. This is they've really thinned the patties down, so that's probably half the patty gone. So we gotta get feed on these guys right away. A lot of bees and not much for forage, especially when it's raining. So we'll come back today and grab some pails. Here, I'll switch you. You take that. And I'll do this. You can mark that one off your bucket list. Pulling honey in the rain and the fog. We are soaked. With that honey pulled, now we are Johnny on the spot with the pails. These little sixes, like they're five frames of brood. I'm looking down into the nests and there's no flow going on right now. They have honey rimmed, so they're not starving, but there's no fresh stuff coming in. So the guys are having the time of their life right now, filling pails, and we are field feeding all these nukes, and we're probably gonna go around and feed the singles too that we pull. And a good use of a cloudy, rainy day. Looks like we're gonna get a little more rain here. I can't pull honey in this. So we're going to put the rest of the day in feeding syrup. Now these girls will have this fed, they'll have those pails drained by the morning. They'll just devour this stuff and pack it away and this will hold them until we get back around to them to feed them again. Well, it quit raining and I brought my oldest out to help me feed this last yard before the end of the day. This yard has come to life. And I just want to show you I definitely had a bee building year this year. I had lots of bees to spare. It's too bad that the flow ran out on me because I had a workforce at least for another week and a half. It's quite impressive. They don't fit into that single box. They would fit nicely into two boxes. And these, these girls unfortunately are expendable. It's a shame to say, but in about, uh, I'd say about a week and a half, a good number of these bees will have naturally died off and these bees, these nests, will naturally fit into these single boxes. The queen is uh, slowing down her egg laying right now. We have brood emerging. 
um, but not enough to replace all these bees. The winter nest is setting itself up. They're just going to nicely fill themselves into these single boxes. So right about now, I've always thought about on years like this year where we have a tremendous bee building year, this time of year, those seconds on, it's tripping off those seconds and make use of this bulk of bees. You know, drop queen cells in, not queen cells, but mated queens and make up a pile of late season nukes. Make use of all these bees, all this bulk bees, right? So something that I'll be looking into is got potential there. It requires a little bit more work, quite a bit more work. We are quite overwhelmed right now with uh, everything we're going on. Heavy honey flow and we're hardly keeping up to the honey. Now they are, this is exaggerated a bit because they're worked up a little bit. We come through, we pulled the honey. It was rainy. You know, we kind of stirred them up a little bit. They come out. We've, we smoked them pretty heavy. They appeared. You know, they put on a pretty big show. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to come through and half these hives will have a beard on them because they'll naturally just fit into a box. But that is what a bee building year looks like. I'm quite happy with it and that's why I had such a good flow and look pretty much everyone didn't have any swarming pressure right because I haven't lost any they all kept with me every one of my hives was productive this year and that just kind of reinforces my overall strategy and this is just what that strategy looks like every hive pretty much was producing for me. There was just no place takers. Everybody was working for me. So I come through first pull, pull off stacks of boxes of honey, put empties back on, come back through, and those those boxes I pulled back are right packed full of honey. So they worked for me. And they haven't quit working for me either. I mean, these girls are gonna go, they're gonna scour the countryside for two miles around, and they're gonna bring in the wealth Wealth like this, little pockets around the edges. Every type of color in here. Look at the goldenrod and clover and sunflower and Joe Pieweed and I don't know what else is in here. There's just a whole bunch of flowers in here. So these bees are gonna collect every type, every scrap of pollen. They're gonna bring it back and they're gonna put it towards this winter nest. That's what all these bulk bees are gonna be doing for me. And uh, with the supplement I put on inside, They'll be able to bulk up all those nutrients, those bulk nutrients. They'll be able to find all the essentials that I can't provide them from around the edges, everything that I'm trying to promote. They can just build this terrific winter nest. I'm going to give them just little shots of syrup, splash, 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 for the next two or three weeks. And when I bring these bees in for winter, I'm going to see just you know, a very nicely well-defined cluster along the bottoms. And everything comes full circle.